Hello everyone, welcome to this 20 minute funky hip flow class featuring a morning dove. So there is a dove in my chimney right now. You might be able to hear it. So we might have a beautiful uh, sound throughout practice today, but with that aside, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for finding my channel. And this practice is all about the hips. It's gonna go very quick, it's only 20 minutes. So if you haven't already, like and subscribe and I'll meet you lying down on our backs. See you there. Let's arrive on our backs in a Shavasana just for a moment. Give ourselves a moment in neutral. Feel the weight of the back of the head, the shoulder blades, the hips, the heels. And as you connect with your breath here, allow it to be full, allow it to be expansive. And because this is such a short practice, we will jump right in and know that this is your practice. So if things feel ever too challenging or even too easy, just adjust as you need. That's ultimately the goal of yoga is to connect with who you are and what you need within yourself. Let's reach the arms overhead, long body stretch, point the toes, extend through the fingertips. Bend your knees, plant your feet, reach your arms out to a T. Open your feet wide and start to rock the knees over to the left. The right one will drop in the middle, the left one outward, and then rock them over to the right. Let's do this two more times. So already we're getting into the hips. We're tapping into an internal and external rotation as we take these rocks. Bring it back to center, hug both knees into your chest, tight squeeze. One hand on each shin. Let's take circles of those knees. So open the knees out, bring the inner thighs together, pull the knees close. Again, out, together, pull them close one more time and reverse that, press the knees away, open them out to the side and together. You may feel this in those inner thighs. You might feel that rotation in the hip joint. Take one more circle and close it on up. Rock yourself up to seated. Plant your hands behind you. Open your feet like we did earlier wide. Rock the knees over to the left. Now as we're seated, you can really drive that right knee down and then take it over to the right. Drive the left knee down. This time as you take it to the left, take the weight out of your hand, sit up tall, twist towards the back of your mat. Use your right hand on your left thigh and press it away as you take your gaze over your left shoulder. Feel that in the abdominals. Unwind yourself back to center. Let the knees come through center over to the right. Shift your weight onto your bottom. Twist to the right towards the back of the mat. Left hand is on that thigh. Press yourself away. Spiral through the spine. You should feel this in the abdominals a bit. Transition through center. This time as you go to the left, straighten out your left leg. Right knee will stay bent. Fold over the left leg. Inhale, lift the chest up. Exhale, fold a bit deeper. One more time. Inhale to lift. Exhale to fold. Bring it back up, bend the knee, take it over to the right. As you switch the legs to the right, straighten out the right leg, turn to face that leg and fold over the right. Inhale to lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold deeper. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to fold. One more time, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Let's bring it up through center. Plant those feet, knees fall to the left. This time, my friends, all your weight comes onto your left side, lie down. Rotate all your weight onto your spine, open up, you're in your twist. Now bring your knees through center, let them fall to the right. Roll all your weight onto your right side, press yourself up to seated, twist towards the left. Let's unwind, go through right side first. Roll onto, I should say, lay onto your right side. Roll onto your spine, open yourself to your twist. Bring your knees through center, over to the left. Rock your weight onto your left side. Push yourself up and then twist towards the right. Look over the right shoulder. 
Just one of those funky things. So let's bring your hands behind us, knees through center. Hug your knees in, give yourself a tight squeeze, wrap your rounds, arms around your shins. Bring your feet together, knees wide, butterfly, reach your arms up, generous breath in through the nose. Exhale, frame out your right knee, forehead to the knee, round the spine. Inhale, back up to neutral. Exhale, frame out your left knee, forehead toward that left knee, round the spine. Inhale, back to neutral. Exhale, fold forward now, over the feet. Maybe drop the forehead down. Round up your spine, plant your hands behind you. Flex your toes so our heels will stay together but our toes will go wide. Come up high onto your fingertips, lift the chest up, roll the weight into the balls of your feet, lift your booty up. Now keep those knees wide, start to press yourself up to toe stand, one hand at a time, keep the knees wide, hands to heart center. Squeeze your inner thighs together, squeeze the heels to touch, let those knees go really wide. Bring your forearms down to the ground, forehead maybe follows, keep the knees wide. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Come up high onto your palms, straighten your arms out, left leg stays, right leg shoots back, come to a lunge, adjust the knee. Drop the right knee down to the ground, squeeze the right heel towards the booty. Rotate the shin down, like a little kickstand, and we're coming up to Modified Warrior Two. Inhale, straighten the leg, reach the arms up. Exhale, gate pose, fold. So turn your left toes towards the right, and then fold over that leg. You can bring your arms out to a T like I have, or hands below your shoulders. If your arms are out to a T, bring your hands under your shoulders, round up your spine, rotate your left toes up. We are staying on our right heel, so seated nice and low. Left hand to left toes or to the mat or to your shin, right arm up and over. You should feel this in your inner thighs a bit. Bring yourself back up to Modified Warrior Two. Bend that front knee, reach your arms out. Both hands down to the inside of the left foot, lizard pose, unwind that right leg. Turn the left toes out, press the hips down. Feeling this through the outer left glute. Horizon pose, flex your feet, lift your pelvis up, reach your left arm back. I've also heard this as reverse skandhasana. Hands down to the mat, step your right foot to the outside of your right hand, come into malasana. Booty down, hands to heart center, elbows press the knees wide. Keep the legs as they are, lift the elbows just off the knees now, drop the right knee to the ground, little internal rotation, open that knee out. Drop the left knee down, open the knee out. Two more times, right, return, left, return, last one here, right, return, and left, return. Bring your hands down to the ground, step your left foot back, adjust your right foot so you're in a lunge. Lower the back knee to the ground, squeeze the heel to the bo bottom, press the hips towards the mat. Kickstand the left leg, shin comes down to the ground, open yourself up to modified warrior two, lift up. Breathe deeply, breathe fully. Straighten out the right leg, reach your arms high, flex the foot and then rotate those toes down. Gate pose with your fold, hands either out to a T or hands under the shoulders. Engage your right quadricep. Compress your left thigh. Slide the hands under the shoulders, round up the spine, flex the right foot, rotate the toes up, and we're seated on that left heel. So not only are we working into the hips here, we're also stretching that left foot a lot. Right hand to right foot, shin or the mat next to you, left arm up and over, little side stretch. Bring yourself back up to modified warrior two, bend the knee, press the hips forward. 
both hands down to the inside of that right leg for lizard pose. Rotate the right toes out to the side. Flex the back foot, lift the hips a bit, reverse skandasana or horizon, reach the right arm back. Release the hand to the mat, let's step it back, downward facing dog. Put out the feet, bend one knee, bend the other. Keep alternating those legs. Pause in neutral. Reconnect with your breath. Extend the right leg high, three-legged dog, bend the knee, scorpion. Maybe take some knee circles. Working into the hip. Reverse that circle. Straighten out the leg. Breathe. Step the right foot forward. Crescent lunge, rise on up. Hands to heart center, bend the back knee. Prayer twist, straighten the back leg. Seated twist, bring your right, uh, excuse me, your left knee, the back knee to the right ankle. Take a seat, twist to the right. Cow face legs, open those feet up just a bit, reach the arms high, fold over the legs. Round up your spine, plant your hands behind you, lean all your weight into your palms and just lift your hips a little bit. Lower the hips back down, frame out your front foot, right into standing split, left leg goes high, right leg straightens. Shiva squat, bend both knees, re-straighten out. Two more times, Shiva bend and straighten. Last one, Shiva bend and straighten. Lunge, plant the foot on the ground, crescent lunge, reach the arms high. Hands to heart center, one leg in mountain, pull that left knee through, right into eagle legs, cross the left thigh, wrap the toes, maybe use the toes as a kickstand. Let's take eagle arms also, so we'll do our left arm on top, lift the elbows nice and high. You can always grab a hold of shoulders instead of traditional eagle arms. Now draw the elbows towards the knee, squeeze everything into midline. Stay low at the torso, unwrap the legs, airplane with these eagle arms. Bring it back now to your eagle leg, stay nice and low. Then pull those arms towards the left hip bone. Keep the legs as they are, prayer hands, unwind the arms, bring the palms together, press your right elbow into your left thigh. Unwind mountain pose. Ooh, that was a lot for that right leg. Stand tall, reach up, gaze up. Forward fold, dive it all the way down. Halfway lift, inhale. Chaturanga, hop or step it back, exhale. Upward facing on the in. Downward facing on the out. Second side, left leg goes high. Bend the knee, scorpion. Start to circle out that left knee, one direction first. And reverse the circle. Strain out the leg, step through lunge. Crescent lunge, rise on up. Hands to heart center, bend the back knee. Prayer twist, straighten the back leg. Breathe here. Shift all your weight into your front leg, slide the back knee to the front ankle, take a seat. Twist towards the left, keep that elbow hooked. You can always straighten bottom leg if need be. Remember, you make the practice your own. Unwind yourself, your torso, kind of open your feet wider, keep the knees stacked, both arms reach up, we're in our cow face legs, fold over those legs. Anchor the sits bones to your mat. Mm -hmm. 
Round up the spine, plant your hands behind you, lean back just a bit and hover the booty off the ground. Press the hip bones up. Lower the booty down, frame out the front foot, send it up, standing split, right leg floats high. Bend the knees, Shiva squat. Re-extend. Again, bend and extend. One more time, bend, extend, lunge. Crescent lunge, rise on up. One-legged mountain, hands to heart center, pull the right knee through, right into our eagle legs. Cross your right thigh over your left, maybe wrap your toes. Eagle arms, left arm underneath the right. Breathe here. Bring the elbows forward, start to round forward, hug everything into our midline, bring the elbows in front of the knees. Stay low. Arm stay, chest stays. Unwrap your right leg right into your outer plane with eagle arms. Bring it back now. Here's that fun part. Bend the left knee, wrap the right, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Elbows draw towards the right hip bone now. Keep the twist, just unwind the hands. Elbow to the outside of your right thigh, palms touch. Maybe you wiggle, maybe you're stable. Either way, use the breath. Unwind it out, plant the foot, reach your arms high, mountain pose, breath in. Exhale, forward fold, breath out. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Steady breath in. Steady breath out. Step your left foot forward. And then just turn to the right for a wide-legged forward fold. Keep your feet as wide as you can. Bend your left knee. Bend your right knee. Bend your left knee. Bend your right knee. One more time to the left. One more time to the right. Bring it back to center. Click both heels in, toes wide. Bend both knees. Drop your hips nice and low. Bring your elbows to your quadriceps, press your knees wide, drop the hips a little lower. Definitely feeling this. Breathe into the hips. Straighten out the legs. Now walk your feet as wide as you can. We are coming into a straddle. If you'd prefer to just come out of this and come into it differently, you can, but you'll let the legs slide wide as you press the booty down to the ground. All right, so flex feet, knees bend. Press the knees back. You'll feel that open up through your hips. Then as you point your toes and straighten your legs, roll the hips forward and also bring your torso forward. So we're tilting the pelvis. Back to neutral, flex the feet, bend the knees, press the knees back behind you. Now point your toes and roll it in. One more time, flex, bend, draw the knees back, point, roll it in. Oh yeah, definitely feel that. Bring it back to neutral. Can't be a hip class without our pigeon. So let's roll to the left, bend the left knee. Stack all your weight onto your hips. So we're just unwinding ourselves, shifting our weight. Staying lifted though for this pigeon, so a very active pigeon. Draw the right hip forward, left hip back, lift the heart up. Take a generous breath in through the nose. And a breath out. Bring it back to your straddle. So rotate your weight onto your butt, onto your sits bone, straighten out your left leg. Now turn to the right, bend the right knee, shift your weight onto that left hip, chest lifted, heart proud. Draw left hip forward, right hip back, staying very active in this pigeon. Generous breath in. Generous breath out. Let's bring it back to our straddle. Straighten out the legs, both hands down out to the inside. Keep those legs nice and active. Walk the hands forward, we'll come into a fold. You can come to your forearms, your forehead, maybe your hands under your forehead. Maybe you're completely down, maybe you need some blocks. Whatever it is, breathe into your legs. Then press yourself up. Both legs to the top of your mat. Bend the knees, lie down onto the ground. 
Right ankle, left thigh, figure four. Keep the shape of your legs, let them fall to the left. Right knee points up towards the sky. Arms out to a T, maybe gaze over the right shoulder. Bring those legs back to center. Keep the shape, let both fall to the right. If it's too much to have the foot hooked, then just release the foot on the mat like we did earlier in our practice. Bring it back to center, release your right foot down, left ankle on right thigh, press that knee away. Keep the shape of your legs, let them fall to the right. The left knee points up towards the ceiling. Maybe you gaze over the left shoulder. Bring it back through center, keep the shape of the legs, let them fall to the left. If you'd prefer to release the hook of the foot, then do that. Bring it back to center, uncross the leg. Straighten out your legs nice and long, shake them out. Rest your arms, close your eyes, wiggle the body, relax it. We're here for such a quick, quick moment in our lives. So be here, close the eyes, drop in. If you'd like to stay longer, please do. Otherwise, bring some movement back into your hands and your feet. Draw those knees in towards the chest and rock yourself up to a seated position. Close the eyes down, bring the palms to touch at heart center, rub the hands, create some heat. Left hand on heart, right hand on to the left, bow the chin. Breathe in love, gratitude, and compassion for yourself and breathe out love, gratitude, and compassion for those around us near and far. I want to thank you all and until next time. All right. Thank you, everyone. My hips definitely feel a little more loosey-goosey. I hope yours do too. Um, this channel is for all the short, fun, quick classes, but I do have a virtual studio. You can head to kinesi.com. I'll leave the link below. That platform holds almost 300 videos now, all length. So I do hold a lot longer classes, shorter classes also, but those 60 minutes, those 45 minutes will be there. Um, if you have any questions, comments, requests for classes, please put them in the comments below. And again, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Um, I hope to grow this channel so I can continue to offer more content to you all. So thank you much, everyone. See you all next time.